I'm Scott Wilson. I'm Senior Lecturer with the Department of Performing and Screen Arts here at UNITEF in Auckland, New Zealand. So how do international audiences see New Zealand and understand this country and its people through their experiences of New Zealand film and films set in New Zealand? Large numbers of now iconic New Zealand films and films set in New Zealand seek to represent the landscape and the peoples of this country in a particular way in order to be understood by international audiences and to survive in the international film market. This means that international audiences come to expect a certain kind of New Zealand, a certain kind of experience of New Zealand based on their viewing of these now iconic films in their home country. Some examples of these films include of course Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit films as they emerge, but also films like Whale Rider for example or The Piano or In My Father's Den all the way back to Goodbye Pork Pie and Sleeping Dogs. All of these films represent New Zealand landscape and New Zealand people in order for international audiences to understand them away from New Zealand. So what does this mean for New Zealand and for New Zealand industries when international audiences come to expect a particular kind of country, a particular kind of people, based on their own international experiences of New Zealand films? International audiences are often trained by their experiences of New Zealand films to expect a certain kind of encounter when they come to this country. The question then is, does the country live up to their expectations in relationship to the way it's represented in its own cinema? The relationship of cinema to audience expectation means that films need to become increasingly spectacular in order to survive uh, in the mainstream market. What this means for New Zealand films is the landscapes that we previously thought of as spectacular are no longer spectacular enough and need to be reinvented with special effects and, and other cinematic technology. What does this mean for audiences who come here expecting to find a particular kind of landscape only to encounter the thing that previously was wonderful and now is perhaps less so? So what do these films do for the people in New Zealand, the people from this place? What happens when the films tell them they should be experiencing the country in one particular way and that this may not match their own experiences of, of their homeland? 